so we got an 05 accord v6 3.5 liter no start and uh this customer took the vehicle to another mechanic and the mechanic told him a bad engine because the car was sitting for about five months or six months but take a look at this i have to put my led on there you go my light on so we're gonna crank this and this pretty there's no power first of all so we're gonna jump it and uh but at the same time i don't see nothing in the screen here there's no mile nothing appears to come on the screen so let me get a jump box first so i got the jump box on now we're gonna go inside okay so the mileage gauge come on the radio come on so we had no power there so that's it it seems like uh dead engine okay so we're gonna go under the hood we're gonna take a look we got the timing port open right there so let's see if there's a belt in there it seems like there might not broken belt might be the issue and the camera is never gonna focus in this angle okay we're gonna have to check this manually so we checked the timing and I came down here to check the fuse. I was gonna check all the fuses, but I usually like to see if there's any uh, fuses missing if the customer has went to another mechanic. So you see this IG coil, ignition coil. Without this, your engine is not gonna start. But take a look. This is the second fuse. You see 15 amp, 15 amp, and uh, 10 amp, 15 amp. I don't really care about these, okay? So. It will also tell you numbers there, right in the bottom. It will tell you what the fuse number is. Okay, right in the bottom, the camera's not gonna focus on it, but right in the bottom, it will tell you. Okay, let's see. Okay, right there, two, you see two right there? There's a two right there. So the fuse number two is ignition coils. I wonder what happened to that fuse. So we're gonna go get another fuse and put that fuse in and uh, uh, we're gonna You know what I'll do I'll pull another fuse from somewhere else That's not important Do we have a 19 fuse number 19 in place? Let's take a look at it 19 is in place and it's not blown I could see so Let's put that fuse in see what happens Okay, so we went and got a fuse and this camera doesn't want to focus at all So I went and got a fuse what we're gonna do is we're gonna simply just take this fuse and put it in the slide. It doesn't matter which way direction you get it. Just get yourself a fuse. And let's see if it cranks. Okay, our jump box is not making a proper connection. So when that happens, that means your jump box doesn't have a good connection and this guy got terrible build up on the battery uh, we're gonna go back either your batteries batteries weak done or doesn't have a connection but what we're gonna do is we're gonna crank this baby up still still nothing Still nothing. Ah, uh, we're gonna go further, a little bit more diagnostic. Check all the fuses, pretty much. So the customer gave me kind of bullshit. So if you guys having this issue, so why not make a video for you guys? So I'm starting all over, pretty much. You see in the beginning, so automatic ID, it's an 05 Accord. 3.0 engine i got my jump box connected in the front so it's not gonna attempt to commit i was trying to do it automatic but there's a reason why it's not communicating automatically so let's go back the scan tool's gonna take a kind of bit bullshit in this kind of time i could have fixed 10 cars it's gonna take so much time to go back because we pressed the automatic ID. It wasn't able to. So pretty much my scan tool is not able to communicate. 
All right, so we're gonna have to wait this out. Mm, come on. Please wait how long? Okay, there you go. So, 05. Accord. It's a 3.0. Not a hybrid. This is the one right here. Okay. So, let's go into engine. We're going to go into codes. It's going to tell us it can't communicate with the ECM. There you go. The key's on. As you guys can see, the key's on. So, if you guys having this kind of issue, I want you guys to look at a few things. Grounds, there's a ground in there. See those wires right there? That's all ground. I'm gonna show you my computer step by step with schematic. Um, there's a ground back there. You gotta check that ground. Um, sometimes people tamper with it. So, but however, down here, you got relays, okay? I'm gonna take out the scan tool because it's no good to us. Uh, if you move this cover, see this relay right here? This is a relay you're gonna be seeing on my computer right here. So you wanna pull this out, you wanna swap it, switch it around. But in today's video, we're gonna jump the wiring on this relay. So, got another relay, but if you do wanna jump the wires, what you need to do is these two right here, these two pins gotta be jumped right here, okay? These two right there gotta be jumped. That's, how, that's what the relay makes connection on, those two wires right there. Um, if you jump those, you have direct, you have directed this relay here. But I'm gonna show you guys more problems. We got a flashing light, so and just not communicating. So I'm gonna show you step by step. You need to check ground and power to the computer. So I do want to take all this apart. So if you need to re jump this relay, that's what it is. There's a part number on this relay. Is there a part number? Uh there you go. 702-7002-4510. That's the part number. But I'm gonna take our wire out. So we don't need to. Go back in there to jump that guy. Uh, that's a test I use, but I do want to show you guys on my computer. So this car is not going to be fixed because the customer doesn't want to go on with the procedure. You want to check ground. You see this? Look at this. This ground is broken. You want to check all the ground. So we're not going to go any further. This was just hidden down there. He wants a lot of mechanics. They messed with it. So many wires they messed with here. Uh, but you want to check all the ground, so we're gonna go back to the computer now and let's see how it goes. Okay, so this is a relay we jumped. What we did was we jumped this straight right here. This is what we did. This is the PGF MF1 main relay. So, what you did was you sent um, signal comes from uh, the computer, puts out a signal, and then it puts everything on with your key on ignition. So this is where we at right now. We don't want to go any further, but you do need to check all these grounds, okay, right here. You got a ground 101. Um, the ground 101 is right by the thermostat. I'm gonna show you all that. Uh, there's a few grounds you need to check. Uh, so I'm gonna put down 101 ground. I'm gonna write that down. And uh, that's what the, there it is okay so we're gonna go now we're gonna go to uh these wires okay so on the computer you will have uh, we're gonna look for the these cables e3 e1 e2 e3 e is that an e right there yep e1 and e2 and uh and a B15, B15. These, all these has to meet for the computer to, uh, and make sure you check this fuse 19. 
check the fuse number 19 so now i'm going to take you to the other end and um let's see where these are located onto the computer and also you could check these wiring right here e5 let's put down e5 e5 e4 and a5 so here's the ground you need to check this t1 ground and this is the ground 101 your battery is like located right here so this is the, the upper radiator pipe right here or, or the lower radiator i'm not sure which one this is i would have to check back but there's a ground right there make sure you check that sometimes it breaks from right from the neck so you want to check the follow the wires all the way then you got another ground here g102 make sure you check that uh g151 so this is from the wheel wall right here this is the transmission right here this is your lower control arm on the pass driver's side there's a ground right there you got to check that so these are the grounds that i was showing you right here g102 g501 they do go these go straight to the ecm so you need to check all these right here and behind the glove box i was looking there's a ground right here g503 make sure you check that so here's the ecm uh, we got a few connectors so the ecm has connector a b c, uh, c. um it will also tell you uh most more information about the connectors here uh white connector gray connector white okay so you have to follow the lines you see how it indicates everything so we're gonna go uh what we're looking for is e3 e so we're gonna go to connector number e so this is what the connector e look like right here um we're gonna look for a wire uh, e3 okay e and the wire number three is brown and yellow we're gonna write that down brown and yellow um so you would check three wire you would have to follow these instructions and it will probably have labels on it you would look for the wire number three i'm um, sorry I'm, so pretty much you have to look at the connector the with the shape of it so it's one two three four wire number four three three is right next to it so you have to check all these whatever the the scenario is and then we got uh e1 i'm sorry we got e3 and e1 e1 is here three is here um two is right next to it then we gotta go to b so we got E5, E5, uh, this is the wires, 5, E5, uh, just go right here, right in right, uh, the location where this tab is right here. So, and then an E4 is back there. So those are all. So now we got to go to uh, connector uh, B, 15, wire number 15 on a connector B. They all got different shape. You see the shape of the connector? It's got to go by the shape of the connector. Um, so we're going to go to, um, B15, B15 is brown and yellow. That's the 15 wire number. So just make sure you check everything here. So, and then we got a A5, um, connector number A5, what is A5? Uh, A5 is right there. This is the connector number A5 um red and black a5 okay so that that's everything so now we're gonna go back so i got a lot more information on this so connector number e connector e uh we was looking at e3 so wire number three will tell you logic ground lg1 right there uh we was looking at e1 e1 is right here pg2 power ground uh so this is pretty much uh e2 e2 is right here on this connector e2 is also pg1 power ground and um e5 it gives you more detail here e5 is ignition signal so this is where it gets ignition signal you never know the ignition signal is broken to the computer you got to check that too okay I would go directly here, okay? Open up the 
steering wheel, you never know. Ignition cables are broken, you never know. Relay is bad, ignition and relay, you, you never know. Uh, E5, we did, did we just do E5? Yeah. Uh, what we left with? E4, what is E4 right here? Power source. Okay, so that's everything. So we covered three, we got that. One, two, three, four, five. So we got them all in order right there. Share it up. On connector E. I'm gonna take you to connector B now. Let's look for connector. Okay, that's connector B and we're looking at cable number 15, B15. Uh, 15 is right there, LG2, 15, it will tell us the meaning of it. Um, logic ground also, so there's a lot of grounds involved here. Okay, a lot of grounds involved here. Um, now we're gonna go to connector, we did B, we got A connector A left. Connector A is right here, we're looking at cable number five, main relay. How come it's not listed here? A5, this is connector, this is five, but this is giving me some other crazy wiring here. Okay, so I'm not gonna focus with that. There's something wrong here with this. A5 is main relay, so A5, we will look at what A5 is. Okay, so A5 is sending uh it's sending signal straight to to the relay, okay? That's how it controls the relay. So once it gets input, it puts out an output and it connects the relay and then it gets an input. So that's how it all works, okay? So E4, let's start with numbers. So E1 is a ground. You gotta have a ground here, ground here, E2, E3 gotta be ground. So you're gonna have to go fish onto the connector itself. So all these gotta be, all the grounds gotta be present all time. So uh, if your fuse number 19 is good and it goes straight to the ESEM, uh, this is hot in or start. So when you put the key on, this fuse is hot and it sends a signal. So turn your key on and you should have power here. Um, you should have a uh, ground here, I believe so, ground and power comes okay yeah power comes straight here hot all times and once the, this uh, computer uh, activates it sends a ground this becomes electromagnetic field it closes a loop on this side and the power is sent okay yeah this is definitely ground so the computer should put out a ground and you should have ground here and then um remember we jumped all this we bypassed all this so we should have an input there and the computer should be running so that's everything that i wanted to show you guys it is kind of a little tough work you got to go down there you got to do data digging but this customer told me straight up he doesn't want to pay so we left it there and i gotta respect their wishes and um he wanted to pay me a little bit so i left it there i don't want to go any further so hopefully you guys don't mind me um Telling the customer, that's it, I'm done deal. Cause sometimes this, this is a hard work. This is not an easy work going down there, bending over your uh, neck, your neck is gonna hurt. Your back is gonna hurt. You gotta check each, each wire. It's a lot of, lot of, like there's tricks to it. You bypass the relay and you just cut half the stuff there. You go there, ground, 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 and fuse, fuse, fuse. Sometimes it could be a broken cable. You never know, one of the grounds by the wheel wall is broken, you never know. Check all the grounds. Just go visually look your whole car all around. There's the, uh, um, there's the, um, sometimes a rat can get in uh, and they will chew up your wires. You never know. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching my video. By the headlights, there's uh, grounds on both sides, uh, side of the wheels and everything. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching my video. See you guys in the next one.